In this tutorial, we'll take you through the process of setting up an Intratone key cabinet. First, head on over to organigram.info. Click on Start, then create a new account or log into your existing account. Once logged in, click on the Configure System option to start the setup process. Select the option Your Key Safes, then click on Add to set up your first cabinet. You'll now see a list of further options. Choose the one required and give it a name. Remember, you may want to install further cabinets in the future. At this point, you'll need to enter the serial number, which you can find on the key cabinet screen. Then click Next. Enter the address location of your key cabinet or select it on the map. Then decide the number of bunches of keys that any one staff member can take at the same time. In the next option, you'll be prompted to enter your email address to enable you to receive notifications and real-time alerts so that you can monitor all key cabinet activity. Now that your key cabinet is created, you can add bunches of keys. A bunch of keys is identified by its etictronic, which allows the monitoring of multiple keys. When you put the key in the key cabinet, the etictronic is detected and the cabinet will lock it inside. To open the key cabinet, each user needs to use a unique fob. The user will only be able to access the correct bunch of keys that they have been authorised use of. To unlock the cabinet doors, the user simply needs to pass the fob in front of the reader. So, how exactly do you go about adding a bunch of keys? Firstly, give them a name. Then put your Etichronic on the supplied USB programmer. Comments can also be added at this point if required. Now that you've created your first bunch of keys, you can then use the search function to interact with these keys and connect devices, assign users and change parameters. To grant your first user access to a bunch of keys, click on the user that you wish to add and place this future physical fob on the programmer supplied. You can then attribute a name, phone number and allocated keyboard number just in case the fob should become lost at any point. Next. Choose the specific bunch of keys that you wish to allow that user access to and for which key cabinet he may take them from. Once these choices have been made, the key cabinet updates automatically and displays a green light to indicate when the update is complete. Users can now use the key cabinet to select keys from the bunches that they have access to and, after validating their selection, the cabinet will unlock and display a white light to help them locate their chosen keys. For extra clarity, instructions are provided on the cabinet screen to assist the user throughout the process. So that's it. You can now track the keys on organigram.info, seeing exactly who is currently in possession of which keys and when exactly they were taken. Intratone. Access a better life.